Okay, so this one is called Five Ghost Videos. So scary, you'll make shocked emoji face. That one. <laughs> Um, yeah, welcome in YouTube, people on YouTube, I appreciate you, thank you for coming back, uh, but welcome in if you aren't back and you're new, but yeah. Uh, yeah, we watch these videos, we're gonna be debating whether they're real or fake, let me know what you think in the comments and whether you agree with our decision and what we've decided by if they are real or fake, um, but yeah, like the video, subscribe because we do these every week and it's not just these that go up on you, so yeah. You, yeah, just have to wait and see. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah, no problem, Nikki. No problem. Uh, they like to say all the time, need to see the original on it. Yeah, it's true. You do. You do. Let's go. Are you ready? Make that shocked face. Top five ghosts. This one. Call on camera. The passenger. <laughs> This next chilling CCTV video was allegedly shared to the public by an anonymous taxi driver in Japan. If you don't do that face in this video. He says that a little after 1 a.m. he saw a woman on the street raise her hand to hell his taxi. He pulls over and stops. There's but what nobody happens there. next is truly bizarre. <laughs> You've done it. You're safe. Good, good, good. Um, hang on. Nobody got in. The taxi driver remotely opens the door in the back oh. with a switch, expecting the woman to step inside the vehicle. But when he looks again, there's no one there. So the confused driver simply closes the door and drives away. But just a few minutes later, he drives through a tunnel on the road. Without him knowing, his drive recorder captures something absolutely terrifying. Okay, so he saw her before he stopped, apparently. So he stopped to open the door, he didn't see anybody there, so he shut the door and carried on. So he did see it, but not when he opened the door, so yeah. You wouldn't do that if you didn't see anything, would you? Yeah, it's crazy. This... Someone's in the back of that car. Look at that. Oh my god, the, the ghost got in the fucking taxi. She did get in. What the fuck? Look at that. It's one of their moments. <laughs> oh wow, so when he opened the door, she must she must have got in. The extremely disturbing you figure of a, a woman ghost can be ghost seen appearing in. in the back seat of his car. Not one. Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely real. What the fuck? Yeah, shit. Yeah, if you invite a ghost in, well, they won't come in unless they're invited, and he invited by opening the door, so... Once, but twice. Oh, she wow. appears distorted with a swollen oh, face. Oh, no, don't zoom one in. One creepy eye open and one closed. The taxi driver claims that he had no idea what was happening oh, so shit, close behind him. He says that he felt a disturbing chill at the time, but he didn't see or hear anything unusual. The driver believes this to be the manifestation of a spirit of the victim of a traffic accident on this road, forever lost on the streets of Japan, trying to get a ride back home. <laughs> Sally. Something. What do you think of that then? That was mad. A mirror person? What do you mean by that? Yeah, definitely real. I know, Queen, I've just seen that as well. I was like, no, not in the bedroom again. Someone who has died and trapped reliving their final day. Like, um, 
what is it called? The uh, oh, what's it called now? When they just carry on, they didn't realize they're dead. It's it's called a different haunting. Um, but that's possible. That is possible. Just carrying on doing what they're doing, like. But a bed that is all the way to the ground. This is good because now you know something's not going to be under it. That that is a good idea. Mary Pearson is a Chinese mythological creature who lived in a dimension apart from Earth. Okay. That's interesting. I've not heard about that. Th this is good, Queen. This is good. So at least now you know any person is just going to be on your bed instead. <laughs> They'll just be on it. Under the bed. No. Parents Josh and Sarah from Nashville, Tennessee had never posted anything related to the paranormal on either one of their TikTok pages. That is until one exactly night clean. when Sarah and Josh discover something very strange on their bedroom's security camera. Oh shit. Sarah is fast asleep in bed with her daughter Emma when this happens. Extra creamy. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Just realized I wasn't uh, I want to follow uh, want following you. No, I appreciate it. I'm sorry the alert didn't go off. I've turned them off just while we do the videos. Um, but yeah, thank you for the follow. How are you today? We're going to be doing some more DVD after this, so if you're up for it, you're more than welcome. But yeah, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. I hope you're well. Um... Yeah, you see that? You see the pole? What the fuck? Little Emma is sleeping peacefully with her doll when it inexplicably moves on its the own. The doll, oh my word. Creepiest of all, the child's shirt appears to be getting tugged by something that's just not there. Dad Josh believes the strange event to be something paranormal, but his wife Sarah is still skeptical. Why? But it gets even creepier. Oh no. Because late one night, Josh is at work and Sarah is fast asleep. Just around midnight, the baby monitor in Emma's bedroom records something terrifying. Autocock? <laughs> it's okay, don't worry, I realised as well. I realised after it. Did I hear... Yes, yes. We should be playing some after this. She's got a haunted doll, definitely, then. Oh no, I've seen this one. No, 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 no. Mommy. Mommy. Oh shit. Mommy. Oh god, I got the TV in the room is on and I'm little Emma in is awake and seems to be curious about something underneath her bed. When she goes to investigate, the little girl appears to I'm be getting myself. pulled <laughs> underneath the bed. Emma starts to cry and yells out for her mother, who soon wakes up and comes to her rescue. Oh my god. But just what happened to little Emma is unclear. Oh shit. Josh explains that he has yeah. no idea what happened to his daughter. Oh he shows in a video that the space under Emma's bed is too small for anyone to have been hiding under there. So what do you think happened to little Emma? She couldn't have pulled Could herself it be that, that far some in. dark presence has attached itself to the toddler? Or just what is going on here? Let me know what you think. Oh, God. Yeah, especially when it comes to your children. Something's following her. It's definitely probably one of the dolls that she has. Burn them all. Burn them all. I'm glad my daughter was never really that into dolls. Because, yeah, I'd have just gone now and burnt all hers as well. Yeah, it's that. It's it's hearing her dis like discomfort. Her she's yeah. 
Yeah, that's not good. Oh. The Haunting in Holland, part Holland. two. So a month ago, I yeah, featured a exactly spooky Queen. video from Horrible. an anonymous Dutch YouTuber named Sabia L. You can hear the breath. Exactly, Queen. I wonder if it's close. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh shit. <laughs> well, I should I should imagine so. <laughs> I'm glad you do. I'm glad you do. Why is it? Oh, 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 I've got goosebumps. Something's going on in her kitchen every time she leaves it. Oh my god! At the time, the video was a bit of a mystery, as all the information I had was her YouTube username, Sabia L, and that she was living in Holland. But since then, I've actually been able to contact Sabia and ask her about her videos. Sabia shared with me that she lives in a small apartment in Holland, in a house that was built no, that proper fucking scared me that did. Jesus, I wasn't expecting that. <sighs> Blimey, there appears to be something peculiar going on here. Gee whiz. <laughs> fucking bollocks. Yeah, that, sorry if I made you jump by screaming like a bitch, but jeez. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't, I'd start to question your nationality. <laughs> Built in 1923. Ghost is hungry. She yeah. says she doesn't really know the history of the house, but that ever since she moved in last year, she noticed a presence in the home. Oh my Cabinet weird. doors open and close on their own. Things move, and on multiple occasions, she has seen a dark shadow out of the corner of her eye. Sabia says that she was a skeptic before she moved in, but after experiencing the repeated paranormal activity, she became a believer. Now, after I featured Sabia L's video last time, she received many encouraging comments from Nuke's Top 5 viewers, and so she decided to start filming more of the strange activity in her home. Yeah, you gotta get some more evidence now, Nikki. I mean, I agree with you, that, that sort of stuff can be faked, but the fucking little ghost peek at the end. Um, I don't know. Um, it just, as far as I'm aware, it just said Holland. Didn't really say where, did he? One night, she captures something downright creepy. Oh no. So it doesn't, just, it doesn't just stay in the kitchen then. The silhouette, yeah. That's weird. The door's shaking. Uh oh. She's brave, I'll give her that. She's very brave. The lamp is still. That is that piece of creepy ass Kobe cam. You gonna find it? Oh no, here we go. shadow again I'm not sure about but the rest she may live in uh, by a railway track yeah but how do you explain this light going on and off you can hear the switch going that's the thing you, you it's not just like the lights getting electric from a surge somewhere the, the switch is being moved you know that 
that can't that can't be faked easily unless there's somebody in there but uh, you, you definitely see that there's nobody in there because she's brave enough to go and look you know <sighs> it's small enough no one can hide there is here this this is this light knob this is the door switch switch itself yeah but plenty of fuses go there is here gewoon echt helemaal niemand uh-oh, right by here as well. The light's not going on now. What's happening? What was that? The hell's going on in there? A heavy sliding door that's fairly difficult to move actually slides sideways completely on its own. Sabia is freaked out but tries to stay calm. Vader, the light in the kitchen how are shuts you? on and off, and a cabinet door opens and closes. Sabia can't find any explanation for the strange activity. Another night, and she records again as the presence seems to be getting more and more aggressive. Oh my word! There's more. Vader, how are you? Have, I'm guessing you've seen this one before. Um, this this one's absolutely crazy. Even the ones before this are absolutely fucking crazy. The the title I did do. I even hugged myself and everything. So they were so fucking scary. Queen, you, you, yeah. Why would you be there a year knowing this shit's happening in your house? Why does she have the same thing on her TV? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like a screensaver. Or, I don't know. I'm not saying it's not supernatural because of uh, the black shadow, but the rest could be explained. I'm not too bad, thank you. I'm not too bad. Just stressing over the flying ants that have taken over my house. <laughs> don't think Things like I shouldn't have wings. Okay, the telly's off now. Okay. See. Was that an ant? I just saw something fly past me. Oh, okay. What? Poes gaat er ook al vandoor. Was is that enough? Oh. What? What's moving now? Is this all about? I don't like look. Uh-oh. Someone's gonna smash. Just pick it up and put it somewhere else. Uh-oh. Oh my god. I'm in this... I'm all in. Oh, that thing. Oh, Butch, thank you so much for the bit. How are you? Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm... What happened? You had lights in the camera clicking. Oh! And then... What was that? Fate, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that, I appreciate it. Jesus. They got me. They got me. Um... The cat walked past that. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not having that. You, you sort it out. She is, you can tell. Yeah, you can tell even by the way she's talking, she's she's terrified. Terrified. Thank you, Fate. You little shit. Only two days later, Sabia <laughs> captures something else. I'm not too bad, thank something you, Butch. Something absolutely horrifying. I'm glad you're good, though. Oh, no. Why is she still living here? I don't get it. Go to bed. Stay there. Under the covers. Oh. Oh. Did you see? It was a step. It was a step. Oh, Jesus. What is that? It's getting worse, definitely. Oh, the f yeah. Sabia watches from her bedroom as all of her lights flicker on and off. She suddenly hears the voice of what sounds like a young girl, but the voice is so low and muffled that it's barely comprehensible in Dutch. 
But that's not even the creepiest part of the video. You see the outline because of the ghost? Did you see it? Yeah, sorry. Watch one more time. A horrifying dark figure can be seen standing in Sabia's living room, seemingly watching her from behind the sliding door oh, before wow. it disappears into thin air. So is Sabia's home haunted by a dark presence? Let me know what you think. Yeah, what do you think? <clears throat> what do you think? The, this one made me jump. Pops, I'm not too bad, thank you. I'm not too bad. How are you? Yeah, definitely real. The ghost said gawag. Gawag. What does that mean? Fuck, yeah, exactly. But... I mean, I don't know why she's still there. Go away. So it would make sense that he would say leave as well. You ready to be home? You had a long day. Are you at the beach, aren't you, today? I hope I hope you're having a good day, though. I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, that one's definitely real. And I don't know why she's still living there. Queen, go find it and save her, please. Go save you it. You can watch all of Sabia L's paranormal encounters over on her YouTube channel, Sabia L. Twenty-eight more If you miles, see a video that so you think well. would be perfect for the top five, or Not if you have a ghost though. hunting Not channel long. and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Highway 5 Ghost Girl. Nikki, I wouldn't stay this either. This next video, posted to Reddit by user Lil Goth so Doll, was oh, recorded from a I'm monitor, then screen capped on a phone before it. Queen, whatever you do, this needs to happen. You need to save it. Save Sabine it. <laughs> Save it, it finally made its way to the internet, so it's a bit potato quality. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the video is chilling. It potato. was pulled from the dash cam feed of two truck drivers after a very frightening incident. So, <laughs> one night two truckers are driving on Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama, when they get the scare of a lifetime. What the hell? What is that a woman walking in the road? The panic stricken truck drivers pull over and call 911. But when they check the highway and the surrounding area along with arriving police, they don't find anything. There's just no one there. After the truck drivers request a viewing of the footage recorded that night on Highway 5, they are shocked. Just like they thought, there is in fact a girl yeah. in a long dress walking across the road, seemingly getting hit by their truck. They later find out that there's a well-known ghost story associated with this road, Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama. The story goes that 10 years ago on a rainy night, a teenage girl on her way home from Have her high school this prom one, Nikki? lost her life on the road after being hit by an 18-wheeler truck. Oh. Over the years, many truck drivers claim that they have witnessed a girl wearing a prom dress on Highway 5. So could it be that these truck drivers captured the prom dress empty. ghost of Highway 5? Their reactions certainly look convincing, but as always, you decide. Bloody hell. The Ghost Files. Popular German paranormal prepared, investigators no. Degeisterachten, which translates Fucking... to The Ghost Files, traveled oh, to an shit. allegedly haunted estate in Bad Ems, Germany. The sprawling structure was constructed in the 1920s and served as a critical care center run by the pro Sorry, just dropped something on the floor. I don't want it to stay there. I dropped a piece of paper by my plugs and stuff and I don't want it like set a light, you know. <sighs> Fucking, oh, I'll tell you what. That, what's going on here with my wire? Um, yeah, we've we've had flying ants in the house, and uh, I'm not sure where they're coming from, but uh, we will figure it out at some point. I'm sure it. My I'm all tangled somehow. I don't know what's going on here with my wire. Okay. Yeah. I saw a flying ant, and I went for grabby to squash him, and. Uh, yeah, I dropped some paper on the floor. I don't know if I got it. I don't think I did. 
Protestant church. Oh, the makeshift medical out. center was staffed by nuns and female church officials who devoted their lives to caring for the sick and the elderly. I think it was real. The, yeah, the reaction was genuine. Yeah. You could tell, especially that guy on the phone, he was like, he was about to jump out of his seat. You think they straight up made someone? Uh, their reaction was real, but most of these stories are urban legends. And cameras, um, don't cameras capture more than the human eye can see? No, I don't think so. Depends what, um, it depends what, like, kind of light wave they're working on. Um, that camera, I think, was just a normal camera. There was no, like, night vision on it. That was just a normal camera. They do? I don't know. I don't know. Many of the patients at the care center suffered from devastating and highly I contagious oh, diseases. Shit. I think so it depends on... So it's not on... surprising that over its 70 year history, many people lost their lives inside these walls, including men, women, children, and even the devoted nuns who often caught infectious diseases from the very patients that they were treating. Exactly, yeah. Infrared, it's a different wave wavelength. That's that's the reason. But I think cameras, depending on like what wavelength they're, they're kind of capturing, depends whether they would see more or not than we would. The staff of the care center slowly Believe dwindled until there was just no one left you, to care for patients. Takes a piece of the care soul. center was eventually left abandoned wow. in 1993. That's deep, Cut that is to current deep. day. The abandoned historic building is said to be haunted by the spirits of its deceased patients. There are countless reports from visitors who claim to have seen dark apparitions and witnessed unexplained supernatural activity inside the old abandoned care home. The DeGaster Octon investigators split up into three teams to explore different sections of the massive building. Well, Steven on when his two own. members, Daniel and Biola, explore the basement, they begin to experience something truly bizarre. I mean, I would love it, um, Nikki. I would love to see I like everything to see what what was left and like all the things that were left behind. But there's that much that go on in hospitals. It's yeah. I would not go and choose the basement to investigate. Definitely not. Einfach durch so eine Tür gehen. Oh. A little kid or something. Or a demon. Das klang gerade wie eine Stimme. Eine Stimme. Einfach durch so eine Tür gehen. Hast du das gehört? Hallo? Ist jemand bei uns? Yeah. Ähm. Wir waren gerade schon wieder in Fritte. Two seconds. Because I'm a fucking way. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, you dirty bastard. I got it, thanks. Hello? Footsteps. It's on here. Not focusing. Auf jeden Fall. Hello? Daniel and Biola hear the unexplained voice of a child and soon after hear loud footsteps coming from all directions. The two investigators call out to whoever could be making the creepy sounds, but no answer. And Daniel and Biola aren't the only ones hearing strange things. Team members Julia and Katja are exploring another area of the building that used to be the children's ward, and they too start to hear something. Smell like candy though. Uh, I don't. I don't mind that. <laughs> da wieder. Wir 
Weimar. Baby in a Kinderstation. Mm-hmm. Julia and Katja also hear the creepy voice of a child coming from somewhere inside the building. Later into the investigation, Daniel and Viola start hearing unexplained footsteps on a stairway and begin to feel like someone is watching them. They set up a thermal imaging camera and connect to a large screen so that they can watch in real time. They sit down on the stairs and start to ask questions directed to any spirit still lingering in the abandoned care home. Thank you, the babe. two witness Should and capture so. something absolutely chilling. Du bist noch auf der Treppe, ne? Magst du mal die Treppe runterkommen? Komm doch mal zu uns. Setz dich doch mal zwischen uns. Invitation. Never invite them. never understood how people feel like they're being watched. Have you never had that feeling? It's like dread. Have you ever had the feeling of dread? Yes, Nikki, exactly. Always say goodbye to whoever could be there, but never invite them. Never. Usually the... <laughs> so you want to know how so you don't get caught. Yeah, I have two queen many a times it's just this feeling of dread feeling of dread just just it, yeah it's weird it's hard to describe but um yeah you have the feeling people are watching me every time i stream really oh shit yeah that's spooky that is fake <laughs> I'm there when you're not. <laughs> Gibt's irgendeinen Kommunikationsmechanismus, in dem ihr euch, wenn ihr mit uns redet, wenn ihr mit Menschen you woke up with the feeling? redet, der dann really? die anderen Energien anzieht? Oh, just appeared in, the, in between them? Hinter uns und an deiner rechten Schulter. Das ist rundrum gerade. Ja, aber es sieht gerade, also bei dir rechts ist definitiv. It sits in next in between them. Also wir können dich quasi wir können dich sehen über unsere Technik. Können wir dich so ein bisschen sichtbar machen? Magst du mal mein, meine rechte Hand berühren? I don't see anything. The investigators watch as thermal shapes yeah. and distortions seem to appear all around them. One figure seems to rise up right between them, and another shape even seems to touch Daniel's hand. I didn't see that. Meanwhile, Julie and Katja, who are exploring a different section of the large building, are also beginning to feel like they are not alone. Hello? Daniel? Wer ist da? Jetzt ist jemand da. Hallo? Do you want to do this with a team someday? Wer ist da? Oh, I can see one crawling on my fucking curtain. But I can't reach it from here. Honestly, it's gonna piss me off. Nikki, you're not the first person to, to ask that. I should probably let Max in, see if he'll eat them all. What do you reckon? Hallo, wer ist da? They're adult footsteps, not children. Hello? I'm gonna do this with the team sometime. Yeah, of course I will. Of course I'll be coming with you. Honestly, walk ahead of the group to hide. Yeah, I'm sure you would. I reckon you'd be that, that person. 
Um, so the voices we're hearing are like children's voices, but those footsteps were not children's footsteps. Do you disagree with me or not? You'd be more scared of the spiders than the ghosts. <laughs> Fate, I know, I can imagine. They are loud. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> and heavy, like heavy footsteps. Julie and Katja hear disturbing sounds and movement coming from somewhere near them. Because the sounds are so loud, they think there might actually be another person in there with them. They decide to just get out of there. Using their walkie-talkies, they call the rest of the team back to their meeting point. But whatever is in the building seems to follow them. What happened? Yeah, because maybe they didn't say goodbye, they invited him and never said goodbye. Come on, Julian, you need to hold down control and sneak. <laughs> this is the problem. Yeah, that is true though, Nikki. My kids, they're like buffaloes, honestly. But you can usually tell heavy kids' footsteps to heavy adult, like, booted footsteps. That could have been a person. Do they, they, they may have Happens next. Shocks them all. People buy, yeah. Here on the treppe haben wir unten das Licht gesehen und die Stimme. Hallo? Das war aber hier unten. Yeah. Me too, Queen. Stefan? Ja. Hinter uns. Das klang gerade wie Stöckelschuhe. Habt ihr ja. das gehört? Ja, wie, was, wie, wie vorhin auf der Treppe. Stöckelschuhe. Hä? Stöckelschuhe. Ganz eindeutig. Hallo? Oh, you see as well. Stefan is downstairs when the rest of the team hears the sound of high heels coming down a hallway. When they I look down the hall, one of their back. cameras captures the dark silhouette of what seems to be a woman walking from right to yeah. left before suddenly vanishing into thin air. So did the Geister act and capture the spirits of deceased patients that are said to haunt the abandoned building? Demons. And if not, just what did they capture? You can watch this full two hour episode and many more creepy investigations over on the YouTube channel the Geister Octon. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Instagram here and on Twitter there. And hopefully I'll see you next week. So what do you think of those? Then them were some good videos. They were good. So yeah. I would be checking your backpack before we left, Fate, and getting rid of any evidence or anything like that that you could use against us. It's going. <laughs> so yeah, they were fucking they were good. They were good. I don't think we thought any of them were fake. The ghosts m don't need to be afraid of you. I can't hate them. Jump out at me and I'll hit you out of reflex. <laughs> but he would have asked for it though, Nikki. He'd have asked for it. So, I'm sorry, fake. No sympathy if you do get hit in this situation. Definitely not. I'll grab and pull you into the darkness. Oh shit. <laughs> it's getting kinky now. It's getting kinky. <laughs> well, shit thy pants. Yeah, I probably would. That would work for me.